Israel. Now what you need to know, uh, First Lady, is that this is the very first battle that Israel would have after their deliverance. Now it would seem to me that God would keep them from having a battle after they just got out of Egypt. And after coming out of Egypt, they then had to deal with bitterness and Mara. They got out of Mara and they finally get to a place called Rephidim. And Reverend Thompson, when they get to Rephidim, Rephidim in the Hebrew means comfort. So they get Rephidim, and they begin to sing like Ronald Isley. We just come here to cheer. <laughs> and they just chilling like a villain. And they just uh, they enjoy themselves, taking in the scene with the gangster lean, with the minding their own business, uh, living large and in charge. And all of a sudden, uh, they are attacked by some Amalekites. And I've come to let you know there's always going to be some Amalekite trying to steal your joy. Just when you think that you've got a moment that you can catch your breath. Just when you think I've gotten through enough pain and heartache and aggravation. I can now take it easy for a moment. There's going to be some Amalekite who is going to come after you. But let me help you understand, Amalekites don't attack you when you're strong because they know they can't defeat you when you're strong. So they attack you in the place of your weakest moment. And this text says they came up from behind. When Israel was not expecting it, the Amalekites came after them. And I want you to know, that's why you've got to be careful of people who will smile in your face all the while trying to take your place. Backstabber. Because when I'm vulnerable, and when I'm weak, and when I'm discouraged, and when I'm tired, that's when the haters come in for the kill. To, but I want you to know that there's a Amalekites everywhere. There here's an Amalekite. There's an Amalekite. Everywhere there's an Amalekite. There'll always be an Amalekite in your life. Some of you got a co-worker, Sally Amalekite. Somebody's working on a job with supervisor Robert Amalekite. Somebody has in their family Uncle Charlie Amalekite. Somebody has a cousin, Pookie Amalekite. Somebody has a choir member, Sister Esther Amalekite. Somebody is dealing with a trustee, Arthur Amalekite. Somebody is dealing with Reverend Dr. Willie Jean Amalekite. Because just as soon as you get down, rather than helping to lift you up, they're trying to push you further down. But here's what I've come to tell you. Tell them you're in the right place now. 